The next tech tip is the Windows Start button. The Windows Start button came into existence with Windows 95, so it's been 20 years. Uh, you probably use this uh, mostly by clicking on it with your mouse. So if I click on this with my mouse, it'll open, it'll close. But you can also uh, open it with the, the Windows key. Let me open up a virtual keyboard and tell you what I'm talking about. The Windows key is the key that has the Windows logo on it. And if I tap that key, it'll open, close, open, close. So it's a very quick way to get to the start menu. Even if I have another program running, I just hit the Windows key and it pops that open. Now, this is really the first place you go to search for things. So uh, I can open this up and find, let's say, Word. There, I just typed a few letters from the word, Word, and it found Word. If I wanted to find Excel, the same thing. Uh, if I was looking for the easy interactive tools, uh, the, the program that works with uh, projectors. Uh, again, I just type a few letters and it shows up. Now, let's say that uh, this is a program that I'm going to use every day. So I want it available to me when I click Start. I want it to show up right here. There's a line right here. And anything above that line is something called a penned uh, program. Let me show you how to pen something. To pen something, I find it. So I type a few letters of whatever it is I'm looking for. Let's say I want the easy interactive tools. I right click on that, and then I select pen to start menu. Now, as soon as I do that, it shows up as one of the programs above that, that line I was talking about. If you want it at the top, you just drag it, and wherever you put it in the list, it'll, it'll be there. I like to put my programs uh, in descending order of use. I use Chrome the most of any program on my computer, so I keep it at the top. That way it's uh, very easy to get to. Uh, just a personal preference, uh, I don't use the desktop icons, the shortcuts, because I can rarely see my desktop. If I know I have things on my desktop right now, but I can't see them because I have a program open and I almost always have a program on my computer. But this way I can hit start, I can open up one of these programs just by clicking on it, just that easy.